this is actually a structure which has now two sets of muscle rings and one backbone. These structures are tiny biological robots or biobots and they move a bit like inchworms. What you see here is a real-time video of one of these biobots that are about eight to 10 millimeters long. With support from the National Science Foundation, bioengineer Rashid Bashir and his team at the University of Illinois are building these biobots inspired by the many different ways creatures in the natural world have adapted to move around. Almost everything that we are trying to do in engineering is actually really in some ways trying to replicate the beauty and the intricacy and the complexity of what we find in nature. This actually mimics this muscle tendon bone complex. So this is kind of what gave us this inspiration. They start by using a laser to 3D print skeletons or scaffolds made of polymers similar to those used in soft contact lenses. So wherever the laser is shining, the material is polymerizing and making that slightly harder scaffold. The type of 3D printing that we use is called stereolithography, and so we use light to do this building. These are our BioBot skeletons. They're basically a flexible beam connected by two stiffer pillars. When we engineer muscle tissue, it's gonna form around those pillars. Next, they add muscle tissue engineered with mouse cells. This is a fluorescent image showing the cells within our muscle strip. So what you see here is one long muscle fiber, very similar to what you'd find in the human skeleton. And this is what we use in our muscle rings to power the biobot. Earlier versions used cardiac cells, but the team found skeletal muscle cells gave them more control. They can make them contract either with an electric pulse or with light. As we increase the frequency with which we stimulate the biobots, we can actually get them to move faster. In the future, they hope to make biobots with neurons as well that will automatically react when they encounter certain substances like cancer cells or toxic chemicals. So the idea would be that the set of neurons is what is sensing a chemical and doing some processing and then instructing the, the mechanical device to move or not move. Bashir sees many potential applications like drug screening, toxic cleanup, even tiny clot busting bots to treat people with cardiovascular disease. So if we can think about implantable devices that are all biological, that can be sensing and then releasing drugs, then it's kind of up to our imagination how these things could be used. So medicine, in the environment. Building biomachines to inch our way toward healthier lives and a cleaner environment. That's showing some muscle. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.